what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so i've been thinking about this for the past couple of days and i, I kind of wanted to make a video talking about this i wanted to talk, talk about uh the top five baby faces in wwe in my opinion right now i wanted to make this top five list these are the top of the top when their music hit the crowd pops doesn't matter what's happening doesn't matter what city they're in when their music hit their intro music hit the crowd pops if they see them in the back uh in the back in like a backstage uh backstage segment the crowd pops like they get the most reactions every time they're on the show so i'm gonna start with the fifth spot and go in the order once again this is just my uh uh my opinion on the top five baby faces in wwe so far right now so for the fifth spot i'm gonna have to go with the world heavyweight champion seth rollins some of y'all may think well he should be higher up on the list me personally there's some other people that be getting monstrous pops more than him seth has been doing his thing uh for the past few years on monday night raw and it's crazy how his gimmick his his pretty much i guess you can say changed in the sense of him just being this arrogant heel to not then becoming this like this joker type vibe to then becoming joker but zesty and all through those little transitions of his character for the past few years they've had the little theme song and the theme song started catching on quick it caught on so much that it was one of those things where it was hard for him to truly be a heel because yes the crowd has been singing his theme song while he was doing heel like stuff guys remember when cody even came back into the company seth was a heel and they were still singing his song but then they would boo him when he would do some heel like stuff so it's one of those type of things where i think it just it kept manifesting and it kept growing to the point it was hard to really deny him as a baby face going forward because he started playing into it even more and honestly anytime his theme music hits the crowd go they interact they go crazy some could say he's only gotten over because of his theme music i would have to disagree his in-ring work has been phenomenal and he does deserve the world heavyweight championship for all the guys he's put over for the past few years pretty much carrying monday night raw when they didn't have a top champion with great matches and great feuds so it it, it works with him being the world heavyweight champion and him being one of the top guys in the company to get to get the reactions he get wherever he goes but for my list he's top five uh he takes the fifth spot as um one of the top baby faces in the company all right number four will be sammy Zayn. sammy was the number one baby face at one point at the beginning of this year there was no denying it there was no qualms about it there were even people campaigning for sammy Zayn to be the one to the throne roman reigns <laughs> that's how serious it was he was that over and he was even over even in the bloodline he was the reason why the bloodline story got it, it it got some new life into it because it was starting to get starting to get stale but once Sami Zayn got interjected into it and then they really started you know ramping it up with him and the story behind him being involved in the bloodline it was what the bloodline needed Sami Zayn freshened up that storyline and he arguably was one of the most over baby faces in wwe and at one point he was the top baby face there was nobody getting a louder pop than Sami Zayn. um he's dropped down obviously um once they won the tag team championships at wrestlemania um they've been having some really great matches and the crowd still pop for Sami Zayn. uh at night of champions that reaction he got was beautiful you know yeah for that night it seemed like he was the top baby face again once again in the company and anytime he comes out or whatnot the people love him they love the the tag team matches 
that he's been involved in with Kevin Owens. His matches he has are always fantastic to watch. He's really good in the ring, uh, really good on the promos. People care to, has, you know, see what he has to say. Uh, obviously, he's not in the main event scene, so that kind of has dropped him down as the top baby face, like, you know, the number one spot. But he's still up there. People love seeing him out there doing his thing. People love singing along with his song as well. Um, I think it's 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 great, and uh, that's why I have him at the number four spot. Number three spot. I've really been thinking about this. I was like, who? I was fighting back and forth, but I'm gonna have to give the number three spot, the third most over person in the company, Cody Rhodes. Now. I, the reason why I had to put him at the number three spot, because at one point r during WrestleMania season, he was the most over person. It was it was really it was interchangeable between Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes. But I want to say right before WrestleMania, it became Cody Rhodes just by a little bit because we all thought, well, not all of us, but a lot of us thought he was going to get the job done. And he has still consistently been over. I think me personally, this is my personal preference. I think this Brock Lesnar feud, even though they've had some great matches, I do think it's 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 kind of dampered his the the pops that he gets. He still gets good reactions, obviously when his song comes on. Whoa, pyro pyro, all that stuff. Fans are into it. He the fans care about his what he has to say you know that hasn't died down he gets good reaction so that hasn't changed but i don't think is i don't think it's as big as it was going into wrestlemania this whole brock lesnar feud seeing him get his ass kicked all the time by the same guy hasn't really done him any favors but at the same time the matches that he has had people have been invested in the matches he's had with brock lesnar people have been invested in and they've been very good matches i do think this feud has kind of dragged on a little too long and some people have lost well not even some a lot of people have lost interest in cody but he's still in that good spot where if they can get him in a good feud or they can really start pushing the idea and the notion of him going after roman once again i think they can really start to build that back up build up that momentum and he could become the top baby face in the company but in my opinion i think he's he's number three right now only because the brock feud has kind of dragged it down just a little bit but he still gets great reactions when he's out there he's still somebody that people will pay money to see so um hopefully once this brock situation is over with we can really get him into a better feud and ongoing to face roman at some point most likely next year's wrestlemania all right now, the reason why I was fighting with this particular spot with the number three spot is for the number two spot. And I had to really think about this. Some may say I'm being, you know, I'm being overzealous with putting them here. But at the same time, the reactions don't lie. The number two spot is easily L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight right now is the number two babyface in the company. And he damn near could be the number one baby face in the company depending on how they book him going forward the dude is it's everywhere he goes people they lose their shit like they actually lose their mind some would say he is the number one baby face in the company and i would not argue with that point i have not seen someone get this organically over in quite some time I mean, he's legitimately over. And I don't even think he's a babyface. I think he's technically still a heel. But it doesn't matter because the fans love him. This dude has <laughs> had an interesting track record in WWE in the main roster. They wanted him to be a manager for the maximum male models. They wanted him to do that. They wanted him just in this manager role. Triple H once he finally took over took care of that got him from out under that then they had him feud with the fiend in the mountain dew pitch black match whatever the fuck that was um and he didn't even win that feud that was anybody anybody else that was in that feud with bray 
and lost that way and how the match ended and how it even played out they would have been doa after that no one would have cared they would have been in jobber city they would have back would have been back there and catering all the time but even out of that that weird ass feud that didn't live up as people wanted it to he still was able to overcome that because people wanted to see the guy prosper the dude was losing matches left and right and he was still getting over the dude ended up in the money in the bank ladder match and the reaction he got overseas was ridiculous he was that close to winning it didn't win it and guess what he is still over he's that it's it's like he's gotten even more over so now he's on the cusp potentially of becoming a new new uh new uh, united states champion that's what people want hopefully he wins i'm filming this before friday night smackdown hopefully he wins this match to have the one-on-one -on -one match to go face uh austin theory at SummerSlam, put the damn title on him that crowd is going to go crazy at SummerSlam if he wins the united states championship dude is that over bro i don't know what to say you you really could put him at number one but the only reason why i don't put him at number one is because the number one spot is part of the biggest storyline in wwe history you already know who the number one spot is reserved for it's reserved for jay uso in my opinion jay uso right now is the number one babyface in the company reason being because he's in the number one storyline in wwe simple i'm being dead ass he's in he's involved in the number one storyline this has been something that's been been brewing for years we've seen jay uso get mistreated for years almost three years now and he's finally fighting back and the fans are eating every second of it they are loving every second of it every time lately that he comes out jay is the guy the chan uso jay they, they're going crazy for him when he fights back, when he stands up, when he's when he's in the face of Roman Reigns, when he's not backing down, they are going rabid for him. And I just think it's going to be even crazier when they have to face off at SummerSlam. Um, prime example of how over this guy is right now. There have been people for a while saying Jay should be the one to take down Roman Reigns. And this is not nothing new hell you you look at money in the bank and how it ended and how the crowd how i lost my shit seeing jay uso pin roman reigns once again they have built up roman reigns as this undefeatable individual he's like the ultimate mega boss with 10 shields he has 10 shields of health you know what i'm saying like you, you're gonna have to use all your magics all your power-ups all your potions and heals to beat this guy and jay uso was the first guy to pin this man in almost three years and the crowd went insane the crowd lost it i lost it seeing that happen that instantly made jay the number one baby face in the company and now people want to see him see him take down roman like it's simple it's it's it works that's why i had to put him at the number one spot because he's in the number one story like storyline right now and people legitimately want to see jay dethrone roman it's a real thing we're getting main event jay again but this time jay standing on his own fighting for his brother fighting for his integrity fighting for himself on and trying to finally dethrone roman i'm all for it it's fantastic storytelling that's why i had to give him the number one spot as the number one baby face because he's in the number one feud right now once again some could say maybe it's la night he's not even in no big feud and look at the response he's getting true but at the same time this is why i feel like obviously 
it makes sense for Jay to be in this position that he's in because this has been built for so many years and people are loving what they're doing with Jay Uso to finally say that Jay Uso is gonna main event <laughs> a SummerSlam with Roman Reigns. It's very interesting to say. Hell, he was part of the main event of WrestleMania Night One this year. Main event Jay is here, and I'm gonna be very interested to see how things play out at SummerSlam. But in my opinion, he is the number one babyface in the company, and that's my top five list. Of baby faces in the company right now y'all let me know if y'all agree with my list who would you change how would you switch up the order give me y'all top five baby faces in wwe right now and if you want me to if i get enough likes on this video i'll do the top five heels in wwe right now as well man so let me know down below what you think of my list but i appreciate all the love and support roll to 150k and i'm still your undisputed youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping me See you on the next one. Peace.